G'day guys and welcome back to another modless video. Today I'm going to be going through a collection of more Forge based mods again that have been updated to 1.18 slash 1.18.1. Let's get into it! Starting off with Mystical Agriculture, Mystical Agriculture is a mod based around the concept of growing your resources with crops, using crops to grow essence used to make materials, mob drops, tools, armor, and possibly even more than just that. Basically, it allows you to make almost every single resource in the game completely renewable, including Neverite and Diamonds, but not limited to just those things, after collecting the very simple things of the essence that is required with this. There are multiple tiers to this mod that allows you to go through very different stages of mob crops, and it can even allow you to farm mob drops as well as so much more other bits and pieces depending on the tier. It also comes with a new set of tools and armor fitting the same 5 tiers of plants that you can go through. Moving into our next mod, we've got Refined Storage. Refined Storage is a mass storage mod for Minecraft that offers the players a network based storage system allowing them to store items and fluids on a massively expandable device network. Kind of very similar to how Applied Energistics works, just with not as much capability towards it, but it's its own unique thing as well. Some of the more unique features of this mod that stands out when in comparison to Applied Energistics is the fact that there are also devices that can be used to manipulate items and blocks in the world and from within the system, such as importers, exporters, constructors, Constructors, deconstructors and so much more, allowing you for a bit more of an expansive thing when it comes to your refined story. And hey, if you've been enjoying this video thus far, make sure to hit the like button down below as it would be highly appreciated and also subscribe. Moving into our next mod, you've got Guard Villagers. Are you tired of your villager dying off because of golems are too lazy? Are you tired of essentially defending all by yourself? Well, this mod adds guards as a solution as well as a new villager related AR changes. Essentially adding in a collection of new villagers that will spawn by default in a village that will actually help guard and protect it. Some of them spawn with crossbows, some of them spawning with swords, as well as some armor kits on them as well, ultimately making it so that you don't have to protect your village all the damn time. Anyhow, moving into our next mod, we've got Sapiens. I may have said that wrong, apologies. This mod adds more behaviors to piglins for better represent them as the unique sentient beings that they are. One of the key things, for example, that I'll show off here is the reputation related features, kind of similar to how the villagers work with their reputation features. Basically speaking, once you get to a certain point with a piglin, you will no longer will be required to wear gold armor around them and then at a higher reputation you'll be authorized to open chests and mine gold whilst they're around but if you lose reputation with them they'll no longer receive items from bartering for you as well as at a certain reputation you'll just be attacked on site regardless of whether you're wearing gold armor or not as well as so so many other beautiful related changes such as food and breeding more gold and bartering stuff as well as much much more towards the ai change Moving into our next mod, All the Ores. This is an attempt to unify all the common ores in ATM packs to make them all blend together and have less overlap. Free feel to use them in any form of mod pack. Basically, it's a mod with a bunch of mods, a bunch of ores that are very common amongst the majority of mods that you see across together in a lot of different mod packs. So basically, it's a useful add-on for when you have a collection of different types of mods that have their own selection of ores and sometimes they have a bit of a crossover. Anyhow, moving into our next mod, we've got Angel. Ring. Angel Ring is a mod that adds in a ring that allows you to fly like in creative mode to help with building and traveling. This does require the use of an elytra in the crafting recipe to make it, but once you have the Angel Wing, you pretty much have indefinite flight that is identical to what the creative flight actually is, just in survival mode. Moving into our next mod, you've got craftable horse armor and saddles. It's very basic, it is as simple as it sounds, it just gives you the crafting recipes that allows you to create a crafted armor as well as the saddles for horses. Anyhow, moving on, we've got Advancement Plaques, which basically is a mod that adds in some very cinematic pop-ups with fancy glowing plaques that pretty much make your achievement that you get in Minecraft, such as killing some monsters, as well as a bunch of other bits and pieces, just that much more fancy and feel that much more powerful whenever you get them, instead of them just being a simple pop-up on the side and in the text chat itself. Moving into Click Machine, Click Machine is a standalone auto-clicker. It supports up to 9 configurable speeds, each with their own configurable power costs. Yes, this does require the use of power, not the typical coal and stuff like that, but the RF slash T cost type thing. There's also an option to hold onto an item, sneak and left click at the same time. It also can click both blocks and entities, more specifically if the auto clicker simulates the click if a player was at the direct center of the block facing in the direction that it is facing with the distance to reach 5. If it fails to find something to click, it'll search for blocks for non-air blocks in front of it and click that instead. Moving into our next mod, we've got Mr. Crayfish's gun mod. Yes, Mr. Crayfish, you know the guy who's made those beautiful furniture mods. Yeah, he's also got a gun mod that has 
provides it a new and exciting weapon mod with unique vision, adding 9 new weapons that can be highly customized to create your own unique variant. Using attachments and enchantments you can increase the stats of the weapons to create an even more powerful version. Dice can be used to change the color of any weapon and attachment, and this mod also has grenades and stun grenades. It comes with things such as a shotgun, heavy rifle, pistol, normal rifle, machine pistol, a bazooka, a grenade launcher, and a minigun. A lot of beautiful, beautiful weapons to use in Minecraft if you ever wanted a gun in Minecraft outside of the block front mod pack. Anyhow, moving into our next mod, we've got the Ultimate Car Mod. The Ultimate Car Mod brings in cars, road construction, and biodiesel production into your Minecraft world. There are many vehicles with different features to choose from, but before you get started, you need to get started with field production. Based on the real biodiesel production, we create a system which is a vital factor of the mod. After having your car, road construction is the next step. You have various options to design your own streets and be creative. There are over 54,000 different cars because there's multiple different different types of cars you can have in every single color that you can use in Minecraft. For example, single seater cars, two seaters, trucks, trucks with container, truck with fluid container, and so, so, so much more. There is too much to explore in this mod, as well as the ability to make custom gas stations, multi-block tanks, as well as asphalt blocks and road markings, and so, so much more to this one. Moving into our next mod, we've got the Physics mod. Now showcase this one in multiple different videos beforehand, but it gets another brief mention here because again, it's been updated to 1.18 and this has to do with all the block physics, basically making it so instead of just throwing an item on the ground and it starts floating there rotating, it bounces around and has actual physics towards it and does many different things depending on what type of block it does. And also if other blocks hit it, it does bounce off of them and also continue a kinetic effect. Moving into our next mod, we've got additional lanterns. Additional lanterns adds many new lanterns with different colors and materials, lanterns can be turned on and off with using an empty hand or with redstone. <sighs> There is a version of the lantern for every single die of the actual Minecraft game, as well as the fact that you can use of every single stone, got obsidian, iron blocks, basalt, all forms of stones, sandstones, the smooth stones, and stones, quartz, pr prismarines, blackstone, every single stone S block can be used in crafting with the beautiful lantern borders, and not only that, you can also use these blocks in order to create matching chains for these lanterns. And then of course, you can dye the lanterns of every single color available in Minecraft and leave it at the default yellow if you want to. Moving on, we've got the Oxidize mod. Oxidize aims to provide more uses for the vanilla copper in 1.17. Now that copper has been added to Minecraft and vanilla Minecraft, there is a lot of potential for its uses. Obviously, this has in a bunch of new things where it'd be copper rails, vertical cut copper, copper kiln, so, so much different bits and pieces that comes with copper, as well as adding in the copper golem for the 1.18 update version of this mod, allowing you to take advantage of the mob vote loser that you may have wanted in the game itself. Either way, how'd you like this video rapid? fire style of getting all the information of every single mod within a few seconds of hearing the mod name or well within a minute or so I don't know either way make sure the like button make sure the subscribe button and also watch this mod video on the end screen now as it'd be highly appreciated if you do and goodbye